The Samsung Galaxy S11 will finally be coming with the display everyone wanted and I'll be sharing all the details right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, please hit subscribe followed by the bell. So it was only a few days ago we had details of new camera features found within the One UI firmware and we now have more details surrounding the display. Ice Universe revealed yesterday that someone had found a 120Hz option hidden within the One UI Beta 2. It's thought that this is of course here in preparation for the upcoming Galaxy S11. It shows that we'll have the option of disabling the high refresh rate altogether and keeping the display at 60Hz. We can enable the high refresh rate keeping it at 120Hz at all times or the third option is for the device to automatically switch between 60 and 120 to save battery where possible. Last week, Samsung also trademarked their new display that they're calling SAMOLED Display. It's still unknown what the S stands for in SAMOLED and while it could be Super AMOLED, it seems unlikely as Samsung have been calling it Super AMOLED for a long time. It could of course be that this is the name for their higher refresh rate displays. Now we don't know at this stage if this is going to be for all of the models of the Galaxy S11 or maybe just the more premium ones but it's a feature that Samsung fans have been waiting for for a long time. We also have news that the Galaxy S11 has been certified in China using a TA800 charger with 25 watt fast charging so we know it will at least have 25 watts when it comes to the fast charge. This along with last week's news of 8K video recording is making it look like the Galaxy S11 is going to be one incredible smartphone. Evan Blast previously stated that there's again going to be three versions of the Galaxy S11. While we don't know the official names yet, we'll of course be getting a smaller model along with the standard and the plus. The smaller model, which may be the Galaxy S11e, is going to have a 6.4 inch display. Unlike last year, however, it's also going to be a curved display and there's going to be no flat screen option for the Galaxy S11. The standard model is going to be a 6.7 inch display, again with a curved screen, and the plus model of the Galaxy S11 will be a 6.9 inch display. The smaller and the standard Galaxy S11 are going to be available in 4G and 5G variants, whereas the plus size Galaxy will only have a 5G model. They will no doubt be dynamic AMOLED displays using the new M10 OLED and now we've had these new leaks to suggest an incredible 120Hz display. While curved screens do make the phone look more premium, there are many out there who prefer flat displays so it does seem a risky move from Samsung. Certification has already appeared for the battery of the Galaxy S11e spotted by Galaxy Club and they also had a photo included. It tells us that the battery capacity should be around 3800 mAh which is a huge improvement on the predecessor and given that the S11e is expected to be larger then this does make sense. When it comes to the Galaxy S11s, the main upgrades are going to be in the camera department and of course in the display. Ice Universe tweeted that the Galaxy S11 has a high probability of using a new 108 megapixel sensor. If this is the case, it's no doubt going to be using Samsung's Bright HMX 108 megapixel sensor. The sensor has been used in the Mi Note 10 and it's a large sensor capable of taking very detailed images. When held up next to a 12 megapixel sensor, you can see it's huge in comparison. The 108 megapixel sensor is capable of taking images at a resolution of 12,032 by 9,024 and it's comparable to high-end DSLRs. The larger sensor size also allows it to absorb more light in low-lit scenarios. When it comes to the rest of the cameras, we're expecting a quad camera setup on the S11 Plus and rumors are that it's going to have 5 times optical zoom and a time of flight sensor. Many were hoping for an in-display selfie camera on the Galaxy S11 but leakers are stating that it's just not going to happen. Samsung did also tell us last year that it would likely be a couple of years until this technology is ready for consumers so something we can expect for 2021. Samsung did however file a patent for a new selfie camera that contains three cameras. While its predecessor had two in a pill shaped form, the Galaxy S11 Plus may actually have three and considering in display is expected the following year, the Galaxy S11 Plus would be the last potential model for this patent. Recent renders disagree with this however and Ben Geskin believes that all models are going to have a single punch hole top center similar to the Note range. 
When it comes to the general design of the Galaxy S11, we aren't expecting too much change from the predecessor. Most likely, it's going to be slightly more refined with slimmer bezels all round. It will be using the new M10 OLED and of course, we've got this news of 120Hz display. There's also reports suggesting that the fingerprint authentication area is going to be much larger on the Galaxy S11 and Ice Universe advised that the appearance and configuration of the Galaxy S11 have already been determined, so we'll likely receive more leaks on on this in the coming weeks. Hardware-wise, it's of course going to use the Snapdragon 865 along with the Exynos 9830 and Sam Mobile said that we could see up to 12 gigs of RAM with 1TB storage and the base model starting at 128. We're also hoping for expandable storage in the SIM tray. It will of course be running Android 10 in the form of One UI 2.1 and battery capacities will likely be similar to the current S range but probably a small increase. There are again rumours of graphene batteries but we pretty much get this every year and it never happens. As with every year, we'll likely see a price increase for each model, but hopefully it's not going to be too big. Last time we had the S10e starting at $750, the S10 at $900 and the S10 Plus from $1000, so we can expect the S11 range to be slightly higher again. Reports are now suggesting that the Galaxy S11 launch is going to be on the 18th of February 2020, so it's not going to be long until some more solid leaks start arising and of course, I'll share them with you guys as they do. So it's great that we've got some insight into the design and of course the new information on the display, but this is of course from leaked information and not confirmations from Samsung. But as always, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think of the Samsung Galaxy S11 and are you happy to see a 120Hz display? But thanks for watching the video, if you liked it smash a thumbs up, if you didn't hit the thumbs down twice and I'll see you guys in the next one.